up? It's Nikki and welcome back to my channel. I still cannot believe it and I am so sorry for even talking about it again but um if you don't know what I'm talking about I cannot believe I got BTS tickets. If you've tried getting BTS tickets in the past you would know how difficult it is. There were some shows that were announced already and in America I think there's only three three stops that they're going to be doing which is LA, Chicago, and New Jersey I believe. Of course I wanted to go to the LA one. I've been saving up for it actually. It was stressful because if you guys are K-pop fans you would know that announcements of so many bands coming to America doing a tour it was like one after the other. I wanted to go to the Blackpink one, the Red Velvet one but I was like you know I will not I will not do that to myself. I, BTS, you guys will always be my number one. I really wanted to save up for that concert in particular. Nothing was announced. Obviously, um, there was a lot of talk that they were going to be going on tour after a comeback, which apparently will be in April or May. I'm guessing April because their tour is in May and you would assume that they would have song, like new songs and stuff. Anyways, I'm going off track. Tickets. You guys would know how difficult it is to get BTS tickets if you've tried it in the past for the first uh, show that they announced. It was my first time buying any tickets, like ever, like at all. Oh my god, it was so stressful the first time I had to do it. And I was in the pre-queue, or the queue, whatever it was called, for about two hours. I wanted to give up, but then, you know, I was like, no, I need to keep going, I will get tickets. At that point, obviously, going into it, I wanted floor seats, but at that point, after two hours, I was like, I'll get whatever seat is available, honestly. And I wanted to get tickets for myself and my sister. And I had no luck. Absolutely no luck that first day. After the two hours, I eventually got into the page where you have the map and then you can choose your seats. But everything was sold out. I was sad. I was sad. But something... Like, my gut feeling was telling me, like, don't even trip out about it. I had a feeling that they were going to do another show. And it's BTS. I mean, you can't just do one show. You just can't. I got lucky because the next morning, they announced that they added a second show to all of the dates. Because literally everything was sold out already. So, I prepared myself for the second date. The whole process was way more um i knew what i was getting myself into so i knew what to expect because of the first the first round if you watch my vlog vlog at you would see the process of what happened and how i reacted to everything but <sighs> everything happened so fast it was exactly four o'clock when my countdown page obviously refreshed and it went into the queue and as soon as it did that my purple man like literally went to the middle if you guys understand my struggle or can relate to the struggle I had the first time around I was staring at that little purple man to see if it was even moving like that's how bad it was after about 10 minutes it, like the countdown like a thousand something people in front of you 700 people in front of you and then all of a sudden boom it turned one here I am freaking out like pop-ups show up you know for security reasons whatever verification I get into the page the map there was so many floor seats available. I'm clicking all the orange ones because the orange ones were sound checked. Sorry, a fan beat you to this, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, let me try clicking some of the blue ones, which were also the floor seats. They were also taken. I clicked the two orange seats very close to the stage. Very close to the stage. Very close to the stage. And it redirected me to another page where, you know, they asked for your information, your card information and whatnot. I felt all of that was already pre-filled out that is a part of my account so it's a lot easier to check out especially in situations like that where like you're trying to hurry. I got them you guys I got the tickets within less than 20 minutes honestly. Less than 30 minutes. Got floor seats. I got sound check tickets. I will be close enough to the stage that Young will be able to know what brand I'll be wearing that day. That close, you guys. That close. I'm so lucky. I'm so blessed because if you guys have seen my story time video, my first time seeing BTS in person story time video, I kind of briefly spoke about it, but I am very new to K-pop. I just recently got into it. I've always been interested in BTS. The opportunities that I've been able to have the past few months of liking them 
like this much has been really cool honestly my advice to you guys if you really put it into your mind and you believe it it manifests into itself nothing is impossible i can tell you that firsthand nothing is impossible all positive thoughts be as positive as you can be even in a situation where you think you can't be if that makes any sense we're gonna go a little deep here because i i, I feel like i have a lot of my vlogs are always you know on the surface fun i do want to get into building a relationship with you i'm gonna go into bts and i'll tell you guys the number one reason why i love them so much 2018 was a pretty rough year for me i know that if you watch my my vlogs from last year it doesn't really seem like it because i got back into vlogging i did fun things i went fun places but um on a personal level it was a really really difficult year for me i'm really thankful that bts came around into my life and all of this actually happened in august kcon kcon really did change things for me because being there and seeing that world change my outlook on things my perspective it made me curious to see like what else is out there in the world i'm not i'm not saying i've, I've never i've always been against k-pop no i've never been against k-pop i always just thought like why <laughs> i'm just like that in general i always ask why obviously being naive and just dumb in the beginning i was like um why do you know why do you listen to k-pop like you don't even understand what they're saying i get it now i totally get it now like i said after k-con it changed things for me and around the time around that time bts came out with idol i was actually gonna film a reaction video to when idol was released i did i will never post it because i <laughs> my, i didn't say anything i was just staring at the screen just completely in awe that was the first time i actually it was different, it hit me differently only because I was more open to understanding it. So ever since that music video came out, I was very, very interested in them and, and their music and I spent many months, I mean obviously up until now, I spent many months um, listening to their music from the very beginning, understanding their music videos which are so incredible. If you're watching this and you're not a BTS fan, like their music videos are all connected in some way. There's like little things that are connected to a previous thing and that and this and there and everywhere and there's a bts universe big hit and so i really got into that as an interviewer i also watched many 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 of their interviews i think i've seen a lot of them almost all of them when you hear an artist and their music and what they stand for what they believe in through their lyrics you get to know them through that way but then you get to watch interviews and see that or you know their bangtan bombs all their behind the scenes videos and you get to see them almost vulnerable and they really distracted me from everything that was going on in my life you know when i would have bad days like i would just go home and watch them or listen to them and i'm good like we, we good we good we gucci you know things would be fine that's the reason why they are so important to me and um why they have become so important to me i don't take anything for granted in terms of the opportunities that i've been able when i've been able to see them um, at America's Got Talent, the Grammys, and now at their concert. Then you get to see people who have inspired you, even though they don't know who I am. <laughs> you want to say thank you, and I'm sure they hear it all the time. You know, they hear so many people say thank you to them. I get it. That's what it is. That's the point of all this right now. Like, I get it. I get why people say thank you to their favorite singers or their idols or whatever, whoever that may be. Ugh, I love BTS, and I'm so excited for the show. You know, maybe I'll see some of you guys at the show and if we do meet each other i would love to say hello to you and we should be friends big hit is so amazing um they're so amazing that they have created a new group tomorrow by together together by tomorrow <laughs> Honestly, I just call them TXT. They're so cute. First of all, they're super, super cute little boys. They're super talented. I did watch their debut stage. Their concept, I feel, is going to be very complex. I already feel it in my heart. It's going to be very complex, just like the BTS universe or whatever. Big Hit is going to be creating for, for TXT. You can still see how nervous they are, obviously. They just debuted like... Last week. Hyunin Kai, who is the maknae of the group, he's from where I'm from, okay? And I think that's pretty friggin' cool. It's the same reaction I had when I found out Joshua from Seventeen went to high school with my friends. Like, that's so crazy. I don't know. For some reason, like, I've, I've 
met a lot of celebrities and stuff like that but like nowadays I don't I don't really get excited for like the Western artist I don't know what it is maybe because when I go to the grocery store or like the mall I do run into um I do run into people randomly so I guess that's why it's not that exciting for me so anyways speaking of k-pop I am currently in Koreatown <laughs> in K-Town here in Los Angeles. I had to run some errands. I just dropped my mom off. She's gonna go be doing something and so I have four hours to spare. I am about 10 minutes away from a place called Choice Music and it's a place where they sell a lot of K-pop things. Oh my god, like, do I want to go? Of course I do. Of course I want to go. I just really have to be careful because I don't want to spend any more money. I, d I spent a lot of money on those tickets uh, for the show, but no regrets. I do need some face masks and like some goodies, so yeah, let's go. Come along with me. watching those kinds of shows lately just recently i watched wicked like two months ago no last month no two months ago the next show that we're going to be watching is les mis which is in a few months but yeah i'm very excited to watch cats today i'm actually really hungry before cats i think we're going to go eat at a place called pie hole and i get this thing called a mac and cheese pie it's so good so i can't wait to eat that and with some coffee because i slept pretty late last night come along Let's go. I hope it doesn't rain. I don't think it will. Broadway show before you guys should check this one out there wasn't much dialogue it was mostly um, song and dance but I feel like they hit every single type of dance that there really ever was because wow the choreography was so good in this show and um, I've never seen a, uh, a show where they were so interactive with the audience because you could have cats in the audience downstairs and upstairs they were all over the place and I thought it was really cool it reminded me of the Lion King because in the Lion King a lot of the animals walk down the aisles and stuff yeah if you've never seen a Broadway show before go check one out because it'll be life-changing and it's kind of addicting so my next show will be Les Mis which is gonna be at the Pantages Theater I'm very excited for that so yeah that is it for the vlog thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one Don't wait up or down 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 Don't w